So Lucas, uh, are you ready to continue the adventures of Wacky Woohoo Pizza Crazy Man? Uh, I am. He's not so much Wacky Woohoo Man anymore. Yeah, I hate that descriptor because that's whenever I play this game on stream, I was like, oh wow, Wacky Woohoo Pizza Crazy Man. It's like that's not Dante's character. No. Like there is a like it's this is a very stupid game, admittedly, but there is more to Dante than Wahoo! Like you see it in this game. He's not Mario. Like, like you see him sat there depressed as all shit in his shop just waiting for something to happen because he's bored. Yeah, and I think like it must be people that have literally seen the opening cutscene from Devil May Cry 3. And that's their entire... Um, that's their entire on basis on the character, yes. Oh, straight away. Oh my god. Ooh. Like, I love that. Like, he does oh, yeah, have that forgot. aspect to his character like that moment there, but yeah... He's not exactly a nuanced character. No, he's not, but at the same time, I hate the wacky wazy woo woo creek pizza man thing, because that's all people see Devil May Cry as now. Yeah. And it's like... So straight into it. So hopefully people watch the cutscene from the last video. <laughs> yeah, you know what's we, going on. we did the opening cutscene for this mission at the end of the last video. Yeah, because that's like, the way we normally do it. Oh, so I'll kill these enemies. Oh, God, oh, that's so brutal. Hey, guy. Taze. I feel like he shoots um, Ebony and Ivory a lot faster. Or well, is that just me? Uh, he shoots them faster when you're not in um, uh, Gunslinger. So when you're in Gunslinger, one of them fires the triple shot, the other one fires one single armor piercing shot. I more meant compared to like the older games, it feels like no, he shoots them he quicker. He 100% fires them faster in Devil May Cry 1. Oh really? So in Devil May Cry 1, it was actually as fast as you could pull the trigger, is how fast he fired them. Oh my god. Whereas in this one, it's like, that's about as fast as I can like, press it. Yeah. I remember distinctly Devil May Cry 1, you could fucking nail it. And that's why guns are so powerful in that game. But, uh, yeah, this is the weapon you wanted to see, yeah? It is, yeah. Like, this is why it's so broken. So that's Ooh. the new move you only get when you use this red version. As you can see, it is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, all, like, and as well, they swing faster. And this is a weapon where it, it does damage over time. Do you know why in Bayonetta 2? Those chainsaw weapons. Well, I was going to say, because the, the wheels act like chainsaws, don't they? Yeah. So Joe Bayonet 2, those weapons where you have to get like the timing right. Yeah. Uh, it's that. And you'll see, like, I'm actually going to be struggling to use this because it swings so fast that I won't know the timing. So <laughs> I only use the other one. Oh, okay. So I'll show it off like when I actually fight an enemy that's not going to teleport away. Yeah, cool. And maybe um, if you are better with the other version, like, I didn't realise the timing would be different. Maybe it's next time just... we go to the equip screen, we can just change it to the regular. Well, it's because it's better. I don't like using it because it is, like, stronger in every way. It's why I don't like using Devil Sword Dante. Don't worry, Carl. I know about you. Like, you don't like using the, the top tier. No, fuck that. Why would I do that? That's boring. <laughs> oh, my God. This thing's kicking me out. And you just, can you see already why this enemy can be a problem? Oh, yeah. Like, taking off, like, half my health. So it seemed a lot easier when you had a... Um... Balrog? Because Balrog just like is a hard counter for this. Because like, it was just like... the, the parry every time. Also spends a lot of its time, it's just intangible. Yeah. Plus, well, it's an enemy I've not uh, practiced against. There is like the void, which is where you can practice against enemies, but I don't want to practice against these, they're not fun to fight anyway, so why would I practice? Yeah. Oh my god, look at this damage already. Come on, there we go. Whew! Okay, so. That was awful, I'll be honest. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, so, this is like a really simple weapon. It looks really difficult. But on the surface, it's, so you have two basic combos. You have one. Oh, you can't do them unless you hit an enemy. Great, thanks. Oh. So, I guess it's better to go find an enemy to fight then. Uh, you have one basic combo, not in Swordmaster. So I show off, I guess. Enemy. Hello. So we have one, two. Oh, for fuck's sake, these flying enemies. One, two. And then you do this, the last one. That's your only combo in this game, um, with this uh, move. However, in Swordmaster, you get. Wait, I'm going wrong. Swordmaster, you have the wheelie. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? <laughs> I'm just trying to show off my fucking moves, man. Right, where is this thing? I need to kill it before it, like. Just causes more explosions. Really? I love enemies that teleport. Away. 
<laughs> have, I, have I talked about how much I love enemies that teleport? I don't think you've mentioned it in this playthrough. Though. Like, stop doing it. Oh, fuck's sake. God, I hate this weapon. There we go, right. So, within Swordmaster, you have the, en the wheelie, the endo, and then the burnout. Ah, okay, that's cool. And then you throw the bike for the last hit, and you can do as much as you want. And what you can do is, you can combine those three, those two combos. So you can do that attack into the endo, into like the spin, or you can do like two hits of the triangle combo into the Swordmaster combo for the finish. The right. same thing in the air. We have one basic three-hit combo in the air and a basic three-hit combo in Swordmaster. And the Swordmaster one is just better. Well, so yeah, well, the... that's the uh, advantage of using Swordmaster, isn't it? Yeah. And one of the best things you can do with this weapon is hit the enemy twice in the air with your regular combo, air combo and switch to Swordmaster for the last hit where he throws the bike at them. Because throwing the bike at them does this huge, massive... Uh, like. It has a huge, massive hitbox that flies forward and goes through every enemy he's facing. Mm. You need so blood, you huh? basically throw the bike Sorry. through every enemy in your path, <laughs> and it is incredible. And then you have like a couple of other moves, such as uh, backflip. Oh, cool. That's in Swordmaster. You have like the regular equivalent. It's that one, and then you have its Stinger equivalent, which is. I like that one. And then you have when you're in the air, and drag enemies up, drag enemies up, drag enemies up. Backflip, <laughs> go forward, and you can do some cool stuff with it. See, it's a cool weapon where it's like, oh, you split um, a motorbike in half, but I actually prefer the moves where he's just using it as a motorbike. Yeah, which I think are cooler. Yeah. Um, and it's like very reminiscent of that one cutscene in Devil May Cry 3 where he does Kung Fu with a motorcycle. Yes, it is, yeah. Like they actually got some of the moves from that. <laughs> he does give you a hell of a lot of area mobility, though. Because there's um, one of the secret challenges is stay in the air for 20 seconds. And with this weapon, um, it's super easy to stay in the air for 20 seconds. Oh, okay. Because you can just do... Uh, I'll show you. There is a way to stay in the air for just a ridiculous amount of time. There you go. And then you do that and then like enemy step and then switch to trickster. Yeah. And it's all very fun. Right. Enemies, come on. I want to fight something. Let's actually use this thing. Up we go. Let's do it. And then obviously you've got like the unique move for this, which is just... Woohoo! Wow, Lucas. And this is one of the reasons I hate this weapon. <laughs> like, because it's just... Sometimes it just doesn't hit the enemy. Yeah. Like the hitbox on it is like simultaneously massive, but also super specific. There we go, throw a motorbike at him. And as you can see, he's ridiculous, so. It's happening. One, two, three. Oh god, yeah. Okay, the, when you are getting a combo with this thing, it is crazy. It's, also, it has super armor on everything that it does, meaning that you cannot be uh, hit out of its attacks when they start. But then you just get great. out of the that. Which is great, up until you play on Dante Must Die mode, and oh. enemies can like kill you in one hit. <laughs> and you can be killed midway through a combo. Because what can happen is, like, you can be doing like this move here, or this one. And if I was like, say, attacking with this and I got hit once, I'd get knocked back. Yeah. And you do a lot of damage, but I'd, get, that, I'd be alright. But with this, you can get hit multiple times and armor through them, which is all right, on lower difficulties, but on harder modes where like two or three hits can kill you, <laughs> they will armor through all your hits, making it one of the worst weapons to use in Dante Must Die mode unless you are constantly in the air hiding. Like all the ground combos are basically useless because they take so long to do, all that's going to happen is the enemies are going to like just gang up on you and hit you from behind and go through your super armor and do like half damage. Half damage. Does that mean that these are just like basically useless when you get to like heaven or hell and hell and hell? Hell and hell and heaven hell, yeah, basically useless. Because you because just you... take so long to swing, something's going to hit you. They're good when you... Oh, so this is the first canonical appearance of this thing. <laughs> Which I'm looking forward to. Like you fought these basically from the start of the game now. Mm -hmm. uh, so the difficulty you're playing on now, do you have to have finished the game <laughs> to unlock? Uh -huh. I think you can play it from the... No, I think you have to play on... Um... 
Devil Hunter, and then it unlocks Son of Sparta, and when you beat Son of Sparta, it unlocks Dante Must Die. Right, yeah. And then Dante Must Die unlocks Heaven and Hell and Hell and Hell. Yeah! It is a cool enemy. I just don't it's like cool fighting. It's cool in terms of, like, the idea of it. Also, as well, all of its attacks causing stun is really annoying. She saw it then when it hits you once and you just stun for ages. <laughs> when it's like getting summoned in groups of enemies, like it's on Dante Must Die mode all the time, that can kill you. Like that, but. Yeah. Oh! I fucking hate this thing! Like, get back here, you fucking piece of shit! Oh, there's two. I've just noticed there's two. Lucas, there's two. I think there's two. Yeah, there's two. Oh, yeah. my. Oh, fuck. I need some bullshit right now. <laughs> it's time to start fucking motorbiking shit up. No, yeah, armor through. Oh god, please no. Lucas down. I don't know what to help you with that. I don't know how oh, else Lucas. I can possibly help here. I'm trying to use the bullshit. Oh. I'm trying to bullshit my way through it. Do you know what my favourite bit as well? Because I'm locking onto it, my camera is going fucking all the yeah, time. Yeah, it doesn't know what like, look at what, do. Look at what my camera's doing. <laughs> oh, and they, they have a nasty habit of hitting you like twice. Like, this is probably the worst I've done so far in this entire playthrough. Like, this has been just nothing but a nightmare. <laughs> Can't even like corner combo in. Oh my gosh, yeah, I apologize. Oh god! There we go. That was one of them. Come on, it hit me while I was moving. Oh god, I love how he just hits me out of there. You were just in like a giant explosion of lightning and he's like, no. That's why Balrog's just a weapon I pretty much constantly have equipped. <laughs> if I don't know what I'm going to call for against. Oh, that was nice, though. And it still just, just so... breaks out your combo. There we go. Oh, God, I we are double rocket time. launchers now. Well, I've not had a chance to show them off because I've not fought anything yet. I've been stuck in these super tight enclosed quarters, fighting an enemy that constantly like, teleports away. <laughs> right, so, rocket launchers. This is why they're so disappointing. Slightly increases your fire rate. Great. A giant laser blast. Looks cool. Lucas, do you notice something about how long that animation takes? That is a long... Oh my god, that's the end of it. Yeah, that's a Ooh. long time to be stood still in Devil May Cry. You can cancel it, admittedly, but... But can you cancel the cooldown after? No, I am mashing Royal Guard there to try and stop it. So that move, again, basically useless. Because that's a good, what, like, three, four seconds of just pure vulnerability at the end? Where you are stood still, yeah. So it's got this, though, which is the exact same move you get with the normal one. Uh, you get this, but double. Ooh. So twice as many. But if you look, it's pretty much exactly the same amount. But if you notice, it's not actually that many more rockets. No, it's actually not, yeah. And then the only unique thing it really gets is this. Again... How long does that take to do? Oh, and then look at this animation. Never did this. Oh my god. So I will be doing that in very, very specific circumstances. That's the kind of thing where it's like you finish off the last enemy with a flourish. But it's not the kind of thing that it seems like would be useful in the middle of combat. Oh, great. I'm going to try and do it. Decisions, decisions. I do what I want. I just wish the like, game would give me some fun stuff to fight. <laughs> Like stuff like this where you just go, whoop. Because you know it's gonna kill it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is like when you know it's gonna kill the enemy, it's worth using. Or when it's like the start of a combat encounter. But you can just see it's like, man, that takes a long time to it do. Does, yeah. I want it in, I see it. Oh, I've not even got that one, yeah. I must have just completely bypassed that in my last couple <laughs> of playthroughs. Ooh, what's in here? Sweet. Oh my god. Never stood the chance. Yeah, that's it. Make me find bats. Enemy. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's go. So this is why this weapon's super good. Ah, oh, this nice big hitbox. Yeah. And then you go. Oh, and then throw the mountain bike at it. Oh, God. Whoop. Oh, 
his face. <laughs> Just grind a motorcycle on someone's face. Oh, oh, he got God. me. Don't worry, I'll use my motorbike. Not just take you down four star ranks with one hit. Yeah, well, I got hit, Lucas. I got hit. <laughs> oh. Not very stylish to get hit, I'll give you that. Do you know what is giant fucking laser blast? <laughs> This is what we do now. We're playing game journalist mode. <laughs> yeah, oh. good. Well, oh, Stand there, Richie. Like, Joe, you know that's one of the reasons that Devil May Cry 2 sucks so hard. Um, isn't it because like the best option is always to just stand there and shoot? Yeah, because um, prior to the release of the game, they asked people, "Oh, so would you want the guns in Devil May Cry to do more damage?" And everyone said yes. <laughs> And then they didn't realise that guns are not supposed to be an option for doing damage. They're supposed to be to maintain your style meter mm -hmm. like while you're going across the room. Because oh, I've yeah. heard, yeah, the best option in Devil May Cry 2 is not to use any combos, just to literally shoot every enemy. Yeah, so, uh, is this the sand of time? No, no. I was thinking, is that like a uh, statue of time? It's like, no, it's just a, a lampshade <laughs> or a, a street lamp. Just a demonic death. street lamp. Have I come this way already? Uh, yes, you have, yeah. Oh, man. You can tell I'm rusty. You can tell I've not played this level. Because I remember this level sucking a huge bunch of dong. It's like, oh, look at all the options you have. It's like you don't. You have, like, one. Yeah. The thing about Devil May Cry 2 as well, though, is if you just, like, shoot your gun, it auto-raises the enemy into the air. Really? Yeah. So you just forever right. juggle them? Yeah, it, you don't even need to do, like, um, air time. Oh, sorry, uh, I don't know what we're moving now. That brings me up into the air. I'm not sure. It's like, I'm going to have to double check that now. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> that's, like, one of the best moves that he has. High time, there we go. Dude. You don't even need, like, high time the enemy to get to start juggling with the guns. The guns just do it on their own. Oh, wow. And it automatically as well increases your style rank, so you can get a triple, like, I don't even think they have triple S in that game. I think it just goes up to S, just by going... <laughs> so every combat encounter is just It's like wow that's that's a whole bunch of fun. Yeah. Whoop. Oh yeah. Notice where I am, Lucas. Oh really? The same place again. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. It's alright, there's more stuff in here. Just really annoying with this game when it's like it does levels like this where Oh, the RE engine looks fucking incredible. What do we do? Oh, just grey walls everywhere. Yeah, everything is this, the same environment, which is one of like, the biggest complaints about this game. Mm. If, like, you have this incredible engine and everything in the game looks great. All the environments, like as cool as some of them look, you see them a lot. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. You also spend a lot of time like, in some levels doing this. <laughs> and this level is probably the worst defender for it, where it's like, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Because everything looks the same. Everything looks the same, and you just keep going around in circles. Like, is leading into one another. Ooh, I see it. I know it's me because I'm not paying much attention, but at the same time, like, just do something interesting with the environment. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Look how good that blood soaked dance Halo. <laughs> well, that's a travel option as well. Oh, I see it. It's mine. We're approaching that. No, 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 no. I want it. Lucas, I need it. <laughs> Look at him just styling on this block of red. Yeah. The best bit as well, he even does the wahoo, rah, yeah, like the like the Bruce Lee noises when he's not even fighting anything. Yeah. Like, like the man is style to the core. He's got a theme and he sticks to it. Can I fight anything? Yay! Fun fight. Just immediately trapped yeah. in a prison. Gotta love it. Get back here, you. Oh, you know what's happening. It's time for the end, though. Oh! I'll throw my motorbikes at people. Oh shit, I see him. No, oh, no. Is that That's two of them? Fun. I don't know, either way.
Oh. I don't know what's happening, but something like something cool happened. What yeah, is to shit dodge. What is with those giant pillars of just like It's just what happens in this level prison. to like Endo. And something you can do as well is um, when you see like the purple sparks, if you do your next attack, it comes out faster and does more damage. Oh, uh, okay. Which is why it's awkward for me because like my timing's all fucked up because it's based on using the regular cavalier. Yeah. Oh, oh god, he's strong. Look at that, you thought he'd keep me in his feet. You thought it was there to trap me, but now. I'm not happy with like, the lack of style points against all these encounters. I think it's how I'm killing the enemy too fast. Genuinely, like because of how powerful Cavalry um, Red is. I might be killing the enemy too fast to get a lot of style points. Because that's the thing is, as soon as you've got hit once with the Cavalry Red, like it's just, oh, you don't have enough time to get your style points all back. Because everything's dead. Oh, look at that. So I need one more big pool of blood. Oh no. Yeah, I think there's one more. Have you just been... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I've been filling it all while I've been doing it. Oh no, I I've meant have skipping... you been skipping cutscenes or is it only yeah. do it at the end? No, I've been skipping hmm. that cutscene because you just see it like three times. Right, yeah. And this is, I think, to open up like a secret area. It's been a while which I'm probably never going to. Is it really your brain, Dante, when it is just keep running in a circle till you find what you need to do? <laughs> Although I appreciate Dante being like, God, I'm a fucking moron. Even he knows. He does. So like, you know what? Thinking's not my strong suit. My brother was right. I'm an idiot. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I can't see. Oh, the Nidhogg actually is down there. <laughs> I had to do it, Lucas. I had to be completely stylish. At all this times. is where you came from, isn't it? It is, yes. My bad. Uh, there was a blue orb up there that I've not gotten yet, but whatever. Yeah, like, how the fuck do you get to that blue orb? You know what? I don't care. Whoa! <laughs> if, Lucas, if you could think of a better way to travel, I don't want to no, know what it is. That is amazing. Like, if there's a better way to get down to ground level, I don't give a fuck. Because I'm doing that. Well, that, that looks better than a fucking superhero landing, that does.